Hey guys, for Collider News, I'm Perry Nemiroff. Come July 7th, Sony is delivering its sixth Spider-Man film in conjunction with Marvel Studios. Even though we've got a new Peter Parker this time around, Tom Holland of course, that doesn't mean the studio would want to recycle a villain that we've seen in one of the previous five movies. However, throughout those earlier films, there's one major villain who's yet to be seen on screen, and that's Vulture. Sam Raimi was considering using the character for Spider-Man 4 with John Malkovich filling the role, and that obviously never panned out. But now Michael Keaton gets to take a crack at it in Spider-Man Homecoming. Collider's own Adam Chitwood got the opportunity to visit the set of Homecoming last year, and while he was there, he asked producer Eric Carroll how they went about settling on Vulture. We at Marvel start with a thing called a discussion document, which is sort of like a mission statement. A 20 to 30 page document where we just go, this is what we think it is, this is what we think it isn't, this is what we think would be fun, here are some cool characters. And we laid them all out. We put all the ones who've been in the movies before and Vulture just felt compatible with the MCU. When we sort of struck on the fun thematic thing of the Vulture being somebody who scavenged what the Avengers and their enemies leave behind, we all just got excited about that. And I can certainly understand why they had that reaction because that does sound like it could be a really exciting, interesting layer to the character that could pull the cinematic universe together in a really unique way. Carol also added that when the filmmakers were pitching their takes on the reboot to score the job of writing or directing the movie, almost all of them wanted to use Vulture. We told all the writers and directors that came in, pitch us anything, because it's one of the best idea type scenarios. If someone came in with the greatest Doc Ock pitch of all time, we're like, this is it. It feels new, it feels different, it feels MCU specific. We would have done it. But frankly, I think all but two people came in and pitched the Vulture to us. Perhaps this best idea wins approach could mean that familiar faces like Doc Ock and Green Goblin aren't entirely off the table for the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, but before we get too carried away with that, it's just exciting to know how strongly everyone felt about Vulture for this film. I certainly can't wait to see him in action. If you enjoyed this Spider-Man Homecoming story, there is so much more from Adam's set visit up and running on Collider.com right now. So go check that out, and of course, be sure to subscribe to the Collider Video's YouTube channel to keep up with all the must-know movie news.